This week has seen the end of our annual BOLD program for another year. BOLD is a youth program that we've been running in the diocese for five years now. BOLD stands for Building Outstanding Leaders and Disciples. And so Anglican Youth Ministries works with a group of older teenagers. They gather monthly to develop a sense of community life together and also to receive some, some teaching and encouragement to help them to develop their sense of discipleship, of following Jesus, but also to begin to develop their innate leadership skills. It's a wonderful program, and each young people is able to identify through their year being involved with it, all sorts of ways in which they have grown and developed in, in those ways through the year. Uh, this week we've had their end of uh, year dinner at which they've celebrated the work that they've done and drawn that program to a close once again. It was exciting to hear from young people themselves about the ways in which they sense within themselves that they have uh, grown and developed. Uh, part of what they do during the year is a ministry exchange to Fiji where they are hosted by the Anglican Church there. Bishop Henry Bull uh, has taken a wonderful personal interest in this and every year Bishop Henry hosts a group um, from the Auckland Diocese uh, so that they can get that experience of uh, a cross-cultural interchange and another uh, another context within which they can work on their, their discipleship and leadership skills. One of the things that I said to them last night was that discipleship is not something we attend to over one year. It's a lifelong piece of work. And if we ever imagine that there aren't ways in which we continue uh, to be challenged by God and to grow into our life in Christ, then uh, I think we are starting to miss the boat. All of us at every stage in our life of discipleship and faith should always be open to the ways in which God is calling us to grow. Uh, so a wonderful thing to be part of this week. Uh, and over those five years, I think that we have worked with probably 40 to 50 young people now um, to allow them to develop in this way. Um, let's hold all of our young people in prayer uh, before God for all that they offer to our church now and all that we hope and pray they will be able to offer to us in the future.